it seemed like you guys were able to get a little more rest today with some of those bench players coming in more. Jeff has talked about how just excited you all get for one another. I mean, how exciting was it to see, you know, like Jada hit the, the last shot of the, the third quarter and just some of those other players get those minutes in that time? Yeah, um, it was crazy. Like, she really just shot it as if, like, <laughs> she just threw it up there. I'm and then when she that. made it, go ahead and say what I she thought said. the game was over. <laughs> like, I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> she I thought, thought the was game over. was over. <laughs> but, no, no, it was great just to see everyone's excitement and her, her just sitting in, fr in, the whole, in front of everyone like this and all <laughs> of us, like, running to her. So that was definitely a momentum shift for us um, going into the fourth quarter. Y'all forced a lot of turnovers today and also just a lot of charges and on offense and ones. What was the physicality like for y'all coming into this one? Um, well, we knew uh, we played Wake last year and we um, lost to them. So we know this year uh, we knew they was going to be more physical because they, they had the, uh, the one up on us because they won last year. So they was just – they was just keeping the mindset of, oh, we got to go in like we did last year, be more physical, out rebound them, just do the little things that we don't execute. And if they execute that, it, they probably could have had a better outcome. But um, Coach, Coach um, Norman did a great job scouting this team. We just had to um, execute what we needed to do. And we was sloppy at some points, but I feel like we stayed together, and that's why we won the game today. Yeah, at the second on what O said, we are a physical team, and that's the emphasis coach really puts on us as players is to make sure that we come out playing hard and going hard, whatever we do, going hard. If we make a mistake going hard, he would rather that than us making a mistake, mistake going lackadaisical. Um, and Coach Norman did do a great job with the scout and emphasizing everyone's strengths and weaknesses across the board um, when it comes to Wake Forest. But we always have to make sure as us players, we cannot lower down to anyone else's level. We have to make sure that we stick to what is our plan and that plan is to always be strong, physical. Because once you hit someone first, Coach Wall says it all the time, when you hit that person first, when they go in for the rebound, nine times out of 10, the second rebound they try to get, they're not gonna go for it because you already kind of set the bar of, okay, this is a game for us and we're we're gonna be the physical ones, not you. So yeah. And you guys have won five straight now, four and oh in ACC play. What do you feel like has really clicked during this winning streak and even since conference play started? Um some of these players, half our team transferred in. So um, our end goal right now is to get to an ACC championship. And at the ACC championship is to get to another Final Four. So just staying focused on that and um, keeping the girls very, like, in tune to what's going on. Like, ACC is the best conference in the country. So um, we got to let them know that every game is not going to be perfect. Every game is not going to be, you know, easy. So um, us just staying together. I feel like and keep building on our chemistry, that's going to help us in the longevity of this game. Yeah, we're doing a great job being 4-0. I think right now we wow. are actually 5-0. I'm so sorry. I was looking yeah. down at the <laughs> – I was looking down at the stat sheet. I'm sorry. We just won a <laughs> game 5-0. and um, I think we are – I'm pretty sure we are actually the only ACC team left to be undefeated um, now that Virginia Tech lost to Florida State. So this is a, a great – a great system we have going on, just making sure that we, again, emphasize that we have to stay like this. We can't go to Clemson and go down to what we should have been when we could have just made sure that we are staying physical, making sure that we're playing defense, make sure we, that we're in tune with the scout. Um, like O said, we want to get to an ACC championship, and last year was my first year ever going to an ACC championship, and it's a great feeling. So just to even get back, but most importantly, we want to win it, most importantly. So... We're doing good with the record and um, the ACC record, and we just have to make sure that we stay on that and stay going hard in practices and making sure that we don't lower down to anyone's standard, like I said, and just be Louisville. Kind of segues into my question, actually. With Virginia Tech having lost and you guys being the only unbeaten ACC team, how much do you look at those games or even, you know, when, when Syracuse <laughs> upset Notre Dame and kind of to help you focus and realize that, you know, you can't take anyone for granted? Um, of course we look at those games, but we got to mainly focus on us um, at the end of the day because we we, we, we plan them, so we just can't focus on them. Okay, yeah, they won, but we got to come in and execute and 
um, be on our, stay on our standards and, you know, just be on the grind to, you know, win the game and not worry about the outside. We got to stay inside with Louisville. We can't let the outside come within, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, just just stand, like I said, just stand together and um, staying true to this program and to the coaches because because they work so hard for us. They they scout, they go and recruit, they they come in the late at night. So I feel like for us to repay them is going hard on the court. And um, that's what we still trying to get some of the girls to get in tune with because, you know, this, this is fun. Like, everybody not doing this. So why not take advantage of this opportunity? Yeah, uh, this year the ACC is definitely one of the, I think is the toughest conference. It has the great great teams, great players at that in our conference, the strongest conference. And every night, Coach Walls always tells us, every night is a fight. Like, no matter what, go into the game as if they are the best team in the country. Don't lower your standards for nobody. Making sure that we know, like O said, that we got to stay stick to what we know and the culture that has been built at Louisville. So making sure our defense – a defensive scout is up to par, making sure we know, okay, we need to be in the gap. We need to just remember the certain principles. So making sure everyone, all the transfers know, like, this is this is a big conference, and every night is a battle. Every night is a game. You can't go into a game thinking, oh, it's just this team, so we can just know. The, everyone's beating everyone right and left. It doesn't matter the rankings. It doesn't matter who's ranked higher in the ACC. Everyone can be everyone in this ACC. So, yeah. You guys got the win. Um, I'm sure Coach is giving you a little bit of his thoughts after when you all meet in the court. But what's something you all know you can take away from this game to work on moving forward? Our energy, definitely. Um, like I said, we should be grateful, like, we're having this opportunity to play this game because not everybody, you know, get the opportunity to play. Um, and I feel like today our energy was very low. Even, like, the whole week preparing for this game, our energy just been low. And um, Coach Wall has just been emphasizing that we have to pick it up. Like, we got to be the energy we want to attract, you know what I'm saying? So, like, us going out there very dreadful and, like, oh, this is just an easy team. That's not a good look for us because we're going to go on two road games and, you know, that's going to be hard. And we're not going to have that great crowd out there cheering for us. So we have to be our own energy. We have to create that. And I think it's just hard for some of them girls to, like, get onto that. And it, it start with me because, you know, I'm a, a vet on the team. So um, I have to set the tone. And um, I feel like I haven't been doing a, a great job of that. But I'm still learning, you know. Um, so And that's why I just keep talking to the girls. It's going to be okay. I got y'all back as long as y'all got mine. We have to stay together. We can't be negative. We got, always got to be positive. We just got to keep moving forward. And I, that's why I said we just got to keep building our team chemistry. Even with the coaches because some of these coaches haven't um, – coach girls that haven't been coached hard. So it's kind of hard for them to adjust. So um, I feel like we're going to come along. Like Coach Wall say all the time, we haven't even reached, we haven't even scratched the surface yet on how good we can be. So just just be patient with us. We coming, y'all. We coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, o said it great. Um, definitely the biggest takeaway from this game was not turning one mistake into two mistakes. Um, I think that's – one thing in the fourth quarter is we turned the ball over once when we inbound the ball, and then we let it keep happening in terms of a domino effect. Um, <clears throat> plays like that against the Clemson or North Carolina, like the games we have ahead of us, those are going to hurt us. So we have to make sure in practice that we emphasize going harder, making sure that we're – whatever we do, we're going harder. And that's, that's going to be – that in practice, in shoot-around, those things indicate how our games are going to go. So we have to make sure – preparing for Clemson, that we're going hard in practice, doing everything that we can do to make sure that we feel ready, most importantly, for the game that's coming up. Period. Thank, Thank you.